Hi Pisces. I am here to do your reading for you. I've already shuffled the cards, but I wanted to do one more quick shuffle. Okay. And please only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And just FYI, if you are close to somebody, I could be picking up on their energies instead of yours. All right. So let's see what spirit animal would like to come out for you during this time. Okay. Parrot spirit, watch your words. That's an interesting card. How about Moonology? Let's see what they would like to share. And don't forget to check your sun, moon, and rising signs for a more complete picture. Okay. Watch your words. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Adjustments are required. Well, all right. Let's see what your overall energy is. And if you like this reading, please give it a like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification, or comment anywhere. All of those will help the channel to grow, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. So let's see what you have your overall energy. The dreamer. A new start. Trust yourself. Push your fears aside and take a leap of faith. Okay. Well, I can see how that would go with the adjustments are required. Mm -hmm. So that is a new beginning. And one thing I love about this image, this card it's like the fool. You see back here behind the gate is an angel watching over you. I love that. And so this is supposed to be a beginning where you have fun and excitement and curiosity. Okay. So let's get some cards. Whoa. See what they would like to share. Page of Wands. Okay. The Page of Wands is where you are learning how to trust your power and use it wisely. Mm -mm. No, okay. <laughs> we have one that was bound and determined to come out. That is the Four of Cups. And what that is saying is that you've been looking in these three cups and there's something that is not a positive in those cups. It could be, you know, apathy. It could be sadness. It could be disappointment, whatever it is. And you need to look at the cup from the universe instead. But I can tell you by the cards that are already out, you, you've done that or are or will be doing that because your overall energy is one of a new beginning. Okay? So you are going to be taking this cup from the universe. And also at the bottom of the deck, when that card, when did it come out in the way it did, is the Ace of Swords, which is a wonderful energy as well. It's where you're experiencing a breakthrough and a new way of thinking, okay? Your mind's being stretched by new ideas, and you're excited about putting those ideas into action. And so the um, putting those ideas into action kind of looks like this energy to me. Okay, let's get another card. And I, uh, I was looking at the parrot spirit, watch your words. And the Page of Wands is talking about um, 
learning how to trust your power and use it wisely. So maybe those two are linked. Hmm? <laughs> and look what just came out. Imagine that. Synchronicity. You have to love it. Okay. Well, we already talked about it just about a second ago. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the chariot, which is a very strong energy. This is where you are driven. You have two sphinxes here, but they don't have any reins. So you can veer a little this way, a little that way. But you have a goal in mind. And you are going to achieve it. You are going to get there. Okay? It's a very nice, strong energy. Okay. Let's go a little bit deeper. It's a very nice reading. Definitely a new beginning for you. The Hermit. Okay, this is where you're going to take some time to go inside, you see this star here, and gain enlightenment, okay? And it might very well have something to do with this, you know, helping you to figure out what this goal is. All right? Oh, in case you'd like to see, at the bottom of the deck from pulling that card, you have a strength card, which is a wonderful card that talks about you tend to use your strength with compassion and kindness, which is wonderful. The Knight of Wands, very nice energy. Then um, this talks about you being in a hurry being ambitious, being enthusiastic, and channeling all these fantastic emotions into, like, the chariot, you know? You have this drive. You are going to go for this wonderful thing that you want to do. Okay? It's a wonderful energy. I love the one's energies. Well, maybe that was an overstatement. Maybe I should say, I love many of the wands' energies. <laughs> okay, and here you have the Two of Cups. This is saying that you have or will have a relationship with somebody where there is unconditional love involved. So that's a beautiful energy. <laughs> and at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Wands. And what that is saying is you are dropping all of the burdens, okay? So you have these beginnings. Here you have an ending. So I'm sure this is happening first, okay? Let's take a look at your reading here. You have the Ten of Wands dropping the burdens, which is, to me, a very good card because... Mm -hmm. If you are carrying around a lot of burdens and you drop them, just think about how much lighter you feel, how much relief you feel. And that's the reason I say I think this is a very good card. Whatever happened in the past, you know, it's not really talking too much about, if at all. But it is saying that you are dropping it and going on to something much, much better, okay? Here, adjustments are required. Well, you're going through a lot of adjustments. Okay. In your overall energy, the dreamer, which is like the fool. A new start. Trust yourself. Push your fears aside and take a leap of faith. And 
You totally are. Okay? And don't forget, this angel back here in the background, standing at the gate, watching over you. I think it's beautiful. So your overall energy is quite accurate. You are doing this. Now, the parrot down here at the end, watch your words. So that would be a cautionary moment. But right below here is the Page of Wands, which is you learning how to trust your power and use it wisely. So that might be part of that, you know, watching your words, taking your power and using it with responsibility. Okay. This card, I would imagine, came before this or comes before this. You know, it's possible some of this has already happened. Might not have. But I would say this happens before this. You know, you're sitting here. Something is not pleasing you. And that's what your focus has been on, you know, whatever this is. But you do decide to take the cup from the universe. So you let go of the burdens. You drop them. And you get your new beginnings. In this new beginning, like I uh, mentioned already, and like came out twice for you, is you're having this breakthrough. A new way of thinking. Your mind is being stretched by new ideas. And you're excited about putting them into action. Which I think is wonderful. It came out twice. That is so cool. Like I said, synchronicity. I love it. Okay. And so here, you're going inside. And this is probably to gain enlightenment on more than one thing. But it could be, you know, just a new beginning. It could be your new ideas. It could be where you're going. All the above. So, it's saying the answers that you're looking for are inside of you. Use your intuition, okay, and go inside and figure this out. Okay, and the Knight of Wands energy is just fabulous. Charged up with energy and passion, motivation, enthusiasm. You're excited and you're channeling all that energy through your inspired action, which is wonderful. That's what I'm saying, or what, you know, a minute ago I said it reminds me of this a lot, because I could see... You being in this energy, which translates over to this, and you go for it, all right? You're ambitious and confident, and you are going to go forward with whatever this is. And that's where I'm sure this comes into play. This could very well be a part of this new beginning. Med, I imagine it is, but it doesn't seem to just slot right in here you know everything reads smoothly and in here you have this two of cups so this talks about unconditional love so it's quite possible that after your new beginning you meet somebody but now you could already be in a relationship and maybe this is saying that you are having this new beginning, but your partner is coming along with you on it, okay? Beautiful reading. So let's get some cards from the universe and see what they would like to share. And don't forget your angels are with you. Oh. Well, <laughs> okay. We had three come right out. Very first one is a Knight of Wands. Right here is the Knight of Wands. So this is the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. You know, you're charged up, ambitious. You are ready to go. Okay? And here, you have another new beginning, which I would imagine is the same beginning, only this one. Okay, this makes a little more sense now. This one is saying, this new beginning is filled with happiness, love, joy. So this would fit in beautifully. 
And then the very last card that jumped out is the very same card as this card. All right. So <laughs> it's a beautiful reading. And it is when I said, well, you know, this doesn't exactly kind of fit in. Well, yeah, it does. Thank you, universe. Okay. So you've gotten these two cards twice and another new beginning. Happiness, joy, love, your mind being stretched, new beautiful ideas, the fool. Make for sure you have fun and enjoy the process, okay? Beautiful reading. And the cautionary tale, use your power wisely and watch your words. Okay, so let's get a chunk from the universe, and I don't look, so I don't know, and this is where I get teased sometimes. Ah. Looking at this, if you look at this card, and you look behind this door, there's space with the stars. Okay, that reminded me of that. But what I think this is saying is the universe is yours. This new beginning. It's here for you to create. Okay? I think it's a beautiful charm. It's all about you creating your world. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful time. Much love. Bye.